Good afternoon, this is Shamika Elliott, and I decided to do my proposal on Modernizing English 250 Online Course. The purpose of this proposal is to provide suggestions through research and details on how to improve this online course to reflect current trends. Through this proposal and presentation, I will be showing primary and secondary researches that will adequately illustrate what needs to be changed and added to the online course offered through the English department. I hope that through this presentation, the audience does gain a better understanding on how these impl implementations will change the online course of English 250 for the better. Through my research, I have found two different types of things that will overall improve the English 250 online course. The first being social media networks as a whole entirely, and the second, video conferencing. So beginning with the first of social media networks, I'm first going to begin with Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. First, through Facebook, one can create a group where students and professors can join and have their discussions through that website. The conversations and discussions would be streaming live, so no one would feel as if they so one would feel as if they were present among their classmates. Instead of having to log on to the SLN website, one could just log on to Facebook at any given moment. It's easy to have your cell phone with you and, and log on to Facebook than it is to log on to the Monroe Community website because the functionality of that website is not present on the cell phone. So now, besides using Facebook to have that as an online a discussion area, one can also use Twitter and Facebook to have up-to-date and minute-by-minute -minute information regarding class assignments and any, any other discussions. I like the idea of using Twitter as a way for students to interact and get minute-by-minute -minute updates of what's going on in the class, what's going on within the assignments that are due. I feel as though as Twitter is the greatest website as far as for receiving any information that needs to be presented at that moment. As a, as a fellow online taker, one of the disadvantages of taking online classes, you're not able to find out information as quickly as you would be able to if you were in the classroom. It's so easy for one to raise their hand and get the questions answered immediately than it is to sit in front of a computer and type your question and possibly wait, you know, a couple of hours or even a couple of days to get that question answered by your professor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm just going to continue. So picking back up where we left off at blogs and wikis, I thought that incorporating blogs into the English 250 online course would be more of a way for the online community to feel more like an actual class. It's very difficult for online students to really feel the interactions between other students and other professors and I feel like blogs kind of give you that feeling. You're able to write about a topic and then fellow students or even the professors are able to comment underneath what it underneath what you're writing about and I thought that that was very good because we can use those as grading assignments the professors can use those as way to ways to branch off from those and also incorporate more things into what we're doing now. So now the third and final thing of what I was researching in and I found the most beneficial. The third and final component of improving and modernizing English 250 is implementing Skype and FaceTime. With the use of Skype, FaceTime, and LinkedIn, Professors and students are able to interact with each other in a way that professors and students have never interacted before. And usually with an online class, students are limited to pretty much typing on their computer and getting a response from either a student or another professor. By using Skype, a professor could possibly record him or herself 
through Skype or FaceTime and post it on the discussion board or on Facebook, and that's how students would get assignments. So instead of writing the assignment on the a discussion board or posting it on SLN, a professor could record themselves and possibly give more interaction to that student to show that those students that this is more than just a class. This is just a great way for people to interact with each other. The second thing that could be that could be implemented with Skype and FaceTime is a professor could definitely set aside a time frame where they were available to Skype and FaceTime with any students who had questions regarding any assignments or tasks or quizzes or any types of projects that were to be given at that time. I feel as if out of all of the things that I have listed throughout this presentation, that is the biggest. When you take an online class, it is very difficult to get your questions answered. And by using Skype and FaceTime, a student would be able to get their questions answered immediately and also have the satisfaction of having that face-to-face -face conversation with someone and not just a computer. The third and final thing that has to do sort of with video conferencing but more has to do with social networking is LinkedIn. I really like LinkedIn being that this is a business communication class. LinkedIn allows for individuals to post their professional careers and just any information about themselves that could better their you know professional careers and jobs in the future. I like that because this is a business communication class, we can take some of our assignments and instead of, you know, creating a paper document, we could go on to LinkedIn and create our actual resumes on there or create just an overall website for ourselves that would have to do with our business communication skills. Now, I really feel as if implementing all these things into the English 250 online course would definitely improve how students feel about this class. I think overall that, that this is a great class and there really don't need to be any more changes than what's necessary. But implementing these two basic things, social network websites and video conferencing would just make a difference as far as getting students excited for taking these types of classes. So not only would it get students are, are excited already, but it would also increase the amount of students who would want to take in online classes. I hope that through this presentation that everyone now has a better understanding of why implementing current trends and more up-to-date things would better English 250 online course. Thank you. So, uh, Ms. Elliott, how long do you think it would take to implement these changes? You know, uh, I definitely considered that in my proposal that I wrote for this presentation and, you know, crunching all the numbers and trying to figure out everything, it looks like it's, it would take about a month to a month and a half, you know, just due to any, any other variables, but it looks like it would only take about a month to a month and a half. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, do you think, how do you think you're going to get graded in this class? Hopefully I get an A.